came to the realization that I was depending on makeup to compensate for my lack of hair or the fact that I don't have hair. So I wore a lot of makeup to, I guess, balance out the fact that I was bald. And I did that as if my raw, naked, natural face was not good enough. And I know this is not the case for all women and I, I'm not bashing anyone who wears a full face of makeup with concealer, foundation, highlight, all the above. That's cool. But for one, I haven't been wearing foundation. I don't remember the last time I wore foundation and my skin has cleared up tremendously. So maybe I was using the wrong products. Maybe my brushes were dirty. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, I think the last time I wore foundation was maybe August. August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Whoa. So that's pretty cool. But I realized I was leaning on makeup so that I would be acceptable in, in public with my bald head, as if not wearing makeup will make me um, look like an alien, which I only have on lip gloss and mascara right now, and I don't think I look like an alien, and if I did, I would look like a beautiful alien, so what, whatever with that. <laughs> but when it came to makeup, I had to stop and realize, hey, you were beautiful without it. And if you want to wear it, wear it. If you want to fill in your eyebrows, fill them, fill them in. That's cool. You want to wear mascara? Wear it. You want to wear your eyeliner? Wear it. But do not think that you have to wake up every morning and put everything on your face to be acceptable in public. If you cannot accept me for this, you do not deserve my beat face. As they say, beat to the gods. The people still say that? I don't know. You don't you don't deserve you don't deserve to see me like that. If you don't if you can't handle this, bye. Because nine times out of ten, six out of the seven days of the week, I will most likely look like this. Maybe with some lipstick. Bottom line, I had to reevaluate why I was wearing makeup. Was I wearing it to just enhance my already beautiful features that I have? Or was I wearing it to alter my appearance to look like someone else or to fit in with whatever the norm is? And some days it was to enhance and other days it was to, um, I would say alter or really just hide what I didn't like about my face or myself that day and I'm not bashing women who wear makeup because if you look up everything I like on Instagram It's most likely hair videos and makeup <laughs> I love makeup tutorials, but I know for myself. I have to watch it whenever I wear it because I I am I would say sensitive to my appearance. I don't know if sensitive is the right word, um, but I really have to watch myself and my feelings and my emotions and I really have to guard my thoughts and my, my mind because I know personally that when I look at other women, I am the type that will praise your beauty and then loathe my own. So I have to stop that and I believe I'm, I've been doing a good job at it. It's literally a, da a daily thing that you have to do. I love to tell women that they look beautiful. I love to tell men that they are handsome. If your outfit is on point, I will tell you. If your haircut is just, oh my God, wonderful, I will tell you. But then I have to look at myself in the mirror and say those same things. So. For me, makeup was a crutch, almost like wigs when I was hiding behind wigs, uh, especially when I first uh, went bald, I hid behind makeup as a way, I guess a distraction, you know, like as a distraction um, from me being insecure about coming out with a bald head. So there's two sides to it. Confidence with your bald baldness, insecurity with your baldness. And each day is a new day, and we just have to sit and look at ourselves in the mirror and say, girl, you fine. 
you are just fine with your nasally self and your congestion and your eyebrow that has not fully grown back it might be the one you shaved off when you were a kid i mean you know you just have to embrace your acne scars you have to embrace the fact that maybe you have chin hair i mean whatever it is what it is you just gotta em embrace it do what you can do about it and move on you know we all have mustaches and that might be the only thing you see on my face because there's not much hair to look at i need a haircut by the way i'm not really feeling all of this but anyway i'm done rambling i just hope that we are enhancing our beauty and not altering now i understand that there are makeup artists out there and it's their job to I mean, transform you, baby. That's cool. I'm talking about myself as an average, everyday woman. When I wear makeup on a regular basis, I'm not trying to be glammed up because I realize that my natural face is bam. So 